We're doing a thrift haul. Yes, the very long-awaited thrift haul. Who is waiting for it? Only me. I've been wanting to do one of these hauls forever because I always brag about the things that I thrifted and I got them at a good price. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I sort of thrifted from many different places so keep in mind some of them are from online stores and some of them are from the actual thrift store. So let's get started shall we? I don't know why I turned British in that moment. So we're going to be going through some of the things that I bought from Carousel and if you don't live in Singapore, let me explain. Carousel is this wonderful online platform that is essentially the largest online garage sale ever. It is mainly based in Singapore and typically that's where I get a lot of my clothes from there because a young girl is too lazy to go out and shop sometimes so it's just easier to scroll on your phone and find the pieces that are really cute. And this is not sponsored by Carousel but Carousel if you're watching this please sponsor me. I shop from you guys a lot. I go on Carousel so often, disgustingly often, because there's just a lot of good deals on there. Not just for apparels, but they also sell a lot of homeware, furniture, even luxury goods as well. So you can find a lot of good things on there. And I am a Carousel veteran. First off, we have this dress that I'm wearing right now, which is the Bridget Puff Sleeve dress. And I've been searching for a dress like this for a long time. I really like the gingham print and the puff sleeves. It's giving milkmaid core. But it's monochromatic enough where I could just throw it on when I have nothing to wear for the day. I bought it at $41.80 and the original retail price is $49. It's not so much of a steal because it's only a few dollars off. But you know what? I happen to find it in my size in the color that I want, so... Next, we have, and this is something that I purchased very recently, is this A4 Arcade overalls. And let me tell you, I have been searching high and low for a pair of really good denim overalls for a long time. I think it just looks really cute, kind of like that sexy painter, carpenter kind of fashion if you may say <laughs> like every time i want to buy a pair of overalls i'm also very picky about it because the thing about me is that i'm very petite so if i have a pair of overalls that is a little bit too big i was also afraid that the gaps in between my hips they also show like my underwear and stuff and you know that's something that was quite wary of so it's very hard for me to find a good pair of overalls that is not too oversized but this pair of overalls are so so comfy, they hug my body so well, there are no gaps in between my hips and it wasn't too uncomfortable for me to take it off when I'm going to the bathroom as well because that is the main issue that people face when you wear like a pair of overalls or like a one piece overall. It's really comfortable. <laughs> so I got it at $28 and the retail price is $49. Next we have I'm doing a two-in-one for this segment because I got them together. Let me explain. So I was on a hunt for some baby doll tops. I saw this really cute pair of overalls that has a lot of ruching and it's like ruffled from Urban Revival, which is a pretty good brand I feel like. The price that I got it for is $12. You might have seen me wearing this a lot in my videos. I feel like I've overworn it at this point because it's so Comfortable. The thing about thrifting online is that you can't really decipher how the material is going to sit on your body and how you're going to fit in it. So that's something that is a downer when it comes to shopping online. But you know what? It was only about $10 and including the meal fee which is about $2. So altogether I spent $12 on this top. This top is so comfy because I can literally go braless because of how textured the top is. And it's like the perfect top to go with anything. The funny thing about this top is that the seller actually 
added in another top in my mail and I was really confused so I messaged her and she was like yeah I just added another free top in there so enjoy so I'm like okay so be $12 for the price of two tops and this is a top that I've also worn before in one of my videos and it's also very comfortable I think I can also go braless in it but this one's a little bit more risky because the way that the top is structured it feels like a curtain where it's a little bit A-line so if like I'm on an escalator or something and people look up and if I'm not wearing a bra like the girls are out you know we're steering away from the apparels and onto bags just for a second so i saw this really cute pink puffer bag and it looked really chic so i got this for 18 dollars and i tied these cute little lacy ribbons on the sides to make it a little bit more coquette or as tiktok would say Next so up, we got the Mocha Relaxed Shirt and this is from the Editor's Market. So I live in Singapore and according to climate report these days, anyone who lives in Asia is basically hitting an all-time high of heat and humidity. So that's great. But nevertheless, whenever I go into like a shopping mall, I get cold pretty easily. I know, I know. Even in this weather, yes, I do get cold. So I'm always looking for outerwear that isn't too bulky. Knitted cardigans are definitely out the window and I wanted something that is a lot more thin and that it sits comfortably on my skin and it allows me to still breathe and not just be like a weighted blanket that I'm wearing on my body. So for the shirt, I got it at $13.50 and the retail price is around $40. Next, we have the padded floral tube top. This is honestly one of the cutest things that I've gotten and also very functional because it has a built-in bra. I'm all about tops with built-in bras. Say it with me. Built-in bras. Anyways, I have strayed away from tube tops for a long time because as a skinny gal with itty bitty titties, I could risk the tube tops just, you know, showing the girls out whenever I move. A little bit too much but this one stays on me it hugs my body really nicely I also really like the pattern on this top because it's this really cute spring summer sort of floral motif so I got this at $10 next we got the floral print camisole dress this dress fits me like a glove it's so comfortable it is also very pretty so I like to wear this when I'm going out for like a fancy date or a brunch with the girls it's also made out of this satin material so it is very very comfortable amazing for this hot ass climate that we live in right now next we have this micro pleated button-up shirt and when I saw this shirt it just reminded me of jellyfish it looks like the stingers of the jellyfish just thought that it was interesting I've never seen a shirt like this before and this person was selling it at six dollars next I'm very happy to be bragging about this these are brown pants that are tagged editors market which I got for five dollars you heard me right so typically these pair of pants in editor's market would cost like fifty dollars so i feel very lucky to have cop this for five dollars like who let me be lucky that day next we have the two-piece lime green set and this is a little bit of a wild card because it was just something that popped up on my algorithm and i just thought it looked really cute and fits my aesthetic. So this is from a Thai brand called Luca Cult. I don't know what the original retail price is because they don't really have a website but this seller was selling it at $19.90. So this is definitely edging on the spring buys because of this really bright green and I really like the details on the collar and it's kind of giving cottagecore fairy a little bit or like cottagecore fairy that works in stem and I don't really wear the shorts out that often because I'm not so much of a shorts girl but yes I think this two-piece fits really well and then the last thing that I got from carousel is this pink and brown lace corset top I think this is absolutely adorable and it's the perfect piece to layer on a lot of my clothes and sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit more frisky I would just wear this on its own also very sheer so most of the time I do wear it on top of my other clothes my god no you can't bite that okay moving along we have 
some pieces that I got from Hong Kong. So I got all of these from this thrift shop called G and Me. So this black sweater vest it has like some thin lining around the neckline and the sleeves. It's just a staple piece that I wanted to have in my closet for some time. It just makes for a good outfit to wear when I have like nothing to wear and I just need something to throw on. And I got this for 10 Singapore dollars. Next we have this red sweater vest. It's giving a little bit of Emma Chamberlain vibes. I feel like this is something that she has worn before. What the fuck is a kilometer? Sorry, that, that, that just came through my head. That's when you know I brain rot it too much on TikTok. Next we have this green knitted top. So adorable. I love the shade of green. Is giving moss. I am cosplaying as Mother Nature right now. I like how it's also a little bit of a turtleneck. Definitely for colder days. And I got this for three Singapore dollars. And finally, we have some of the stuff that I got from my local thrift stores or thrift markets. I got this blue tropical shirt. It's giving Bali. And I bought this with the intention to go on a company retreat that my intern company was planning at the time but did not happen and then from the same shop I got this brown blazer and apparently it's from some luxury brand I didn't know what brand it was I looked up the brand and I think it was this really old luxury brand I don't think they are producing any more pieces of clothing so I got this at $20 which I think is a pretty good deal and then the very last thing is this pink floral top and cardigan set this is from a flea market that was happening at cafe they were having a little flea market on the upper floors so I decided to check them out and I saw this really cute set it's kind of reminding me of traditional batik I did not check of its quality before I took it home and when I finally got home and I finally got it washed I saw that it was kind of flared at the edges and I was like I don't know how to fix this the detailing of this is very unique if you guys have any tips on how I could like fix this if I should cut everything off leave a comment down below on what I should do with it that is all for my thrift haul I also want to encourage everybody to thrift and to be more sustainable in the way they make their purchases and how they think of sustainable fashion uh, let me know down below uh, if you want to see more fashion related videos because i definitely want to do more of those don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't i see a lot of you that stumble upon my videos have not subscribed to me and it's very sad so please don't forget to subscribe if you like my content so far and don't forget to follow me on my social media I have an Instagram and TikTok but do follow my Instagram for when I will update and when the new video is gonna come out and what I'll be posting Do you wanna say bye?